Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. All right. Thank you very Good much. Good afternoon. an overview of the NCC research proposal. And I'm glad to have you all join us. The speakers for today are seasoned us through the topic how to succeed with NCC research grant. And we all know already that he's more like a landlord when it comes to winning um, the NCC grant. He has won so much and won't want to bore us by mentioning them here. We also have um, some other speakers today, Dr. Abdul Wahid Musa from Kwara State University, Malete. He'll be taking us through navigating the NCC research grant process, lessons learned from a successful grant awardee. Of course, he's also a successful grant awardee and he has enjoyed a lot of um, experience as regards the NCC research grant. We have also a seasoned um, grant uh, researcher, Dr. Talha Abiodun Folorusho from Federal University, uh, Federal University of Technology, MENA. He'll be taking us through the topic, Cracking the Code, Strategies for Winning and Managing NCC Research Grant. Dr. Talha is also um, a seasoned researcher who has a vast experience as regards um, NCC research. He has um, won um, so many of um, this research and he's ready to share his skill and expertise with us today. And the last but not the least is Dr. Kayode Ayodele from Obafemila, Obafemila Awolowo University, Ileife. He'll be taking us through the topic, the road to NCC research grant success. My suggestion. So he'll be suggesting some of the strategic paths that we can take to propel us to winning the NCC um, research grant. Um, I want to quickly provide an overview of what the grant is like before we can move on to the uh, talk proper. The Nigeria Communications Commission, they are the regulators of the telecommunications industry in Nigeria. And among other things they do, they also support telecommunications-based innovations and research from tertiary institutions. And for this year's call, the areas of research or topics that are to be considered include development of sensors for smart city applications, such as traffic management systems, smart parking, smart grid, smart homes, smart institutions, and smart network management. Another area of consideration is the use of telecommunication network entity management, allocation tracking, and national identity numbering, and artificial intelligence. We also have an aspect, design and implementation of efficient solar mobile phone or battery charger, and a research leading to commercial production of high capacity battery for telecommunications equipment, design an artificial intelligence based predictive maintenance solutions for telecommunications infrastructure. We also have development of cyber security solutions to curb cyber attacks, development of smart intrusion detection and alarm systems to curb theft vandalization of telecommunications infrastructure. And it's on this note that um, I'll be opening the floor for uh, the speakers, but before we have for today, who is no other but the mentor himself, Professor Abiyod Musai Binu. So he will be joining us immediately after the commercials. Thank you. Today's world. That is why at Summit University Ofa, Sun Ofa, owned by Ansaruddin Society of Nigeria, our goal is not to produce only employable graduates, but to graduate entrepreneurs and job creators who shine in their world like the products of Sun Ofa that they are. Enroll today by visiting www.summituniversity.edu.ng. Inter-university transfer is also available for undergraduate graduates willing to complete their studies at Summit University or FAR.
sun offer we shine like the sun all right you're welcome back i thank you for staying tuned so um ladies and gentlemen i present to you professor abiodo musa ibinu he's going to present on the topic how to succeed with ncc research grants over to you sir so this afternoon i'll be talking on maximizing your chances maximizing your chances of winning and managing NCC Research Grant, insight from previous awardees. So that's what I will be talking about. And especially, I will be sharing my own experience. Once again, I'm Abiyo Dumu Saibinu, and I will be sharing my experience today. Presently, I'm the Vice Chancellor of Summit University of uh, so much university of art. I want you to type on your chat box, say yes if you can hear me, and then say no if you cannot. And also, kindly let me know if you can see my slides changing from one to the other. So, pleasantly, I'm on the top slide. I This is just a brief about me. I'm into mechatronics, that is mechanism plus electronics, and I can... And now I'm also into academic that is academic plus entrepreneurship. And again, I'm into artificial intelligence, and I also feel work on spiritual intelligence or working on spiritual intelligence and borderless learning. So that's just a brief about what I do. And presently, the chief executive officer and the chief executive and academic officer at Summit University of Kuala State, Nigeria. Before going further, let me just quickly share with you the, our vision at Summit University of Art. At Summit University of Art, we shall be developing innovations and inventions that will be changing the way we live in our communities, we defend our nations, work in Africa. That's what our vision at Summit University is all about. Before going further, let me just share with you some of the awards I've won with NCC, the moderator of the event mentioned that. This included in 2015, was part of the team that won these three different grants, design and development of low-cost adaptive GSM booster. And also in, in that same year, we won seamless data and voice connection and fabrication or and production of this. That was in 2015. In 2016 also, we won another one fabrication of GSM communication-based working cane robot, and that one was meant for, for, for enhancing ambulation. And also in 2019, okay, the voice is low. Okay, it, uh, let me see what might be responsible for the voice. Just a minute, slow. Okay, what of now? Can you hear better? Okay. Better now. Yeah, better now. Thanks a lot. So, yeah, thanks a lot. So, in 2019, we want another. We want. We want another grant, and that one we have. We have completed it. Also about submitting that, and the title is fabrication of intelligence wireless mobile phone battery charger also funded by NCC. So this is just to tell you that um, I, I have experience and then that's what I'm going to be sharing with you this afternoon. Aside NCC, you can see other grants have attracted or be part of in recent time from 2013 to 2022. Just last year, which was 2022, we won another grant from Loya Academy of Engineering United Kingdom on artificial intelligence for female in STEM. And that grant is, is and that grant is funded by Royal Academy of Indiana, and the team is the one organizing this event. So summarily, if you are asked that how can you win NCC grants, just tell them that expertise, you need to understand it because NCC grants are competitive in nature. And the agency look for great reviewer 
capable researchers and reviewers with relevant qualification and experience to review your submissions. So please, NCC is one of the agency that, that their grant is merit driven. You don't need to know anybody. And kindly know that each proposal may be reviewed by more than 15 reviewers. Usually minimum is around 15 and it's more or less blind review process. So that's what I want you to take home before I start my talk today. You must, you must know it is merit based and you have to put in all your best. So this is the outline of my talk this afternoon, introduction and rest. So let's start. What is NCC or what's NCCA all about? NCC is an acronym for Nigerian Communications oh, Commission. Yeah. NCC, an acronym for Nigerian Communications Commission. And then it's an NCC provide research grant for academics and researchers in the field of telecommunication and ICT. And let me tell you, they have been doing this since around 2014. 20, so the call came out around 2013, and the first set were award, the first set of our this should be around 2014. So NCC, you know, is a regulatory body for the telecommunication in, industry in Nigeria, and it has the mandate to support research activities that can contribute to the growth and development of the industry. And presently, the agency is being headed by Professor Dambata. And, and then uh, since, since he assumed the leadership, uh, he has continued to provide research grants to academia. And, and again, not only grant, yeah, the agency have also been funding professorial research uh, uh, grants, professorial research seat and uh, share in university. At the last year, which was in 2022, Federal University of Technology you know, was one of the beneficiaries of such funding of professorial shares in the universities. So one thing, the second thing I want you to take home from today's talk is guidelines. Follow NCC guidelines. Don't assume you have you know it all, or I participated two years ago, I participated three years ago, so I know what they want. No. This year requirement, you need to study it again. It's a great departure, not totally departure, but at least different from what it used to be. So you need to find out about your eligibility criteria. It's important, the focus area and the proposal format and the process. So, but more, most importantly is the eligibility criteria and the focus area or thematics. You have to be clear on that one. For eligibility criteria, check if you are from the university. If you are from the industry, you may need to partner with those from the university or, or academia. So not only university, we have had cases of those from polytechnic and colleges of, colleges of education winning NCC grants also. Please check the eligibility criteria and then check the focus area this year, they have named some areas that you must, you, you must situate your research grant. So if your, if your own proposal is out of that, please, you, it won't be awarded. And don't forget, you are expected to submit one page executive summary. That's also important uh, when it comes to NCC proposal. So pay attention to the proposal format. Pay serious attention. Pay serious attention also to the length of the executive summary. You must pay attention. And then what the application process? Let me tell you that you don't need to leave your office or know someone in NCC before you can submit or participate in this. It is totally merit driven. And then be rest assured that review the, the application or, or the submissions will be reviewed by panelists and then you have various people being part of the panelists, More, usually between 10 to 15, from the industry, from the agencies, from the academia and the rest. So your proposal must appeal to all those who are stakeholders. And that's also what we champion under the quadruple elix. 
academia, industry, government or MDAs, and the community. Because NCC, this particular grant, they wanted to end up with commercialization. That's where the industry comes in and the user, which, which is the community. So you have to take that one into consideration. So again, developing a clear research plan is an essential step in maximizing your chances of winning and managing NCC research grants. So maximizing, don't forget, it's always very competitive. And here are some of the key areas I will also advise you to focus on. Number one is the, your research objectives. The objective, state the objectives very clearly. What problem are you solving? And how do you, and what is the expected outcome of your research? And now is your research related to the telecommunication industry? And again, potential for commercialization. Take care of those things in your research objective. Also take care of your methodology because without a good methodology, uh, you may not be funded. As I've said, you have people from the, the industry, the community, uh, reviewing your submission. So you must understand that N NCC grant is very, very competitive. And the outcomes. I uh, don't just talk about the, the publication and this. Always think also of your students. Student involvement is important in NCC proposal and in managing it. So you must involve students at every stage and you must be able to link what you are doing to education. And much more importantly, the outcomes, the expected outputs and the outcomes and the impact of your NCC proposal. Three things there, outputs, outcomes and impacts. You must take care of that in, in this, your NCC proposal, please. And then the timeline, please check the guideline very well. NCC may not take any research proposal spanning more than two years or so. I'm not saying any categorically two years, but always don't let it be too long. Three, four, five years, I don't think NCC will be interested in that. Ensure that at least one to, from 12 to 24 months, you will be, that's okay. So uh, your timeline must be very, very specific and you must take care of that in your NCC proposal. Again, collaboration. NCC wants us to collaborate. And who, who are those critical stakeholders that you may collaborate with? Number one, your student involvement is part, should be regarded as part of your collaboration. And the right mix from professors to GA and the rest to, to first degree order in your team. Don't just make your team to be don't just make your team only to be for professors and the rest. So is the audio clear, please? I think someone is having problem. Okay, the audio is clear. So if the audio is not clear, just say, if the audio uh, is not clear, just say yes. But if the audio is very clear and good, just say no. Okay, thank you. So collaboration is important. Collaboration. Look for some of these MS, SMEs, collaborate with them, try to discuss with them how they can help you to commercialize your work or if they are going to be an off take of your words or choose for, or look for venture capitalists and the rest. So please, collaboration is important in your in your work and that's also what you call about industry experts so please try to work with those in the industry in developing your proposals and do this and as i said you can also collaborate with other institutions like one thing ncc normally emphasize there are some equipment that may not be in your own university or your own institution they will want you to share uh, with nearby institutions if they have it and now you can make use of those facilities let that one be part of your collaboration please and those equipment in, in your universities are you still get there and you can also collaborate with not with non non non-for-profit non organization uh, that's why it's also important 
And most importantly, always have it at the back of your mind. NCC doesn't accept proposal that is just a about manage it like that. Uh, please help us, my no. You must have the right expert in your budget. Look at the overall budget limit from NCI. The overall budget limit of the nation in, in the call for proposal. Do not even stay to one naira outside that limit. Don't. Like now, if the limit is 12 million and you are now quoting 12 million 200,000 that, that you will provide the remaining 200,000, then you are not or uh, you may not be able to get the award. So work, let your budget fit into what has been provided that do not go beyond this upper limit. And then research activities, be detailed. Arrange your activity along work plans. That is this, this month, this month, and this, and you group related ones. You can do more than one activity at a time. So we call it, concurrent activities you can also do that and a lot more ncc research proposal is not just about you it's about teamwork it's about how your colleagues how your student how your department will enhance research activity especially we enhance innovations and invention in the in the telecommunication industry so identify the research activity you plan to undertake and estimate the cost and please be detailed in doing that. Your personnel, personnel cost. This is unlike some some grant that will have so much percentage on personnel cost. Check the check the call. I, I, I'm not giving the figure because the one thing you will do is go and look at the call itself. Check the upper limit. Is there any percentage there? I know that in in third fund and dress. Uh, they have very upper limit, but in NCC, they may be signing. But don't let your, your personnel cost even be so high. 10% may be okay, or yeah, but don't allow it to be so much very, very high. But the most important thing, okay, someone is complaining about the audio, but I think you should, you should check your system we try to increase the volume i think others are hearing it very loud but try to check please and if it's still the same let me know so identify the personnel part of your personnel which more must include your students i'm emphasizing that students they are so important to the successful completion and award in this thing because if you don't involve them you may be running a great risk Again, equipment and materials. Don't budget so much. Don't mm -hmm. let 90 or 80 or 100 percent just be on equipment. Collaborate with other institutions around you and work it out very well. And then again, once you have it, progress monitoring. That's is, is a crucial aspect of managing NCC research grant effectively. They monitor you, they provide you back-to-back -back monitoring and they respond to queries or requests for information easily. And normally communicate with them via email and you can also call them, but I prefer email. And I can assure you that from my own past experience, within 24 hours, you will have response from, from NCC. And, and the disbursement also is so seamless that uh, that within two to two, two weeks after the award, you you will have your disbursement. And after meeting any milestone or uh, for each grant, they they will have mentioned we will pay this on so 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 milestone. And and this one, it is output or achievement driven payment. They don't just release all the money from the commencement uh, report or initiation report. You you be mobilized. Then another milestone after completing that milestone, another mobilization. And then that's why milestone is important. Divide your work into milestone. And NCC, as I've said, you, need, you don't need to know anybody 
in the commission and you don't even have to leave your office before you receive your your funds and the rest and reporting is a critical aspect of it and reporting helps you to communicate the progress and outcome of your research activity to ncc and other stakeholders and ensure you that your research align with the objective of the grant and ncc they, they will have put some caveat there which you have to know that as by exhibiting the work and dress uh, you have to communicate with them first even before publishing any part of the work and your financial report is so important when it comes to that they assist you a lot and they provide necessary support to ensure that your work you receive adequate publicity <laughs> and then funding and i'm sure they are also looking at how to fund post uh, how to fund commercialization and and the rest and after that your final report ncc before you will you will my you will hand the work you will have basically two types of uh, two types of defense technical and and then general under the general what you talk about maybe may include the commercialization potential and this but on the technical please remember ncc is a regu regulatory agency so they have the necessary expertise when your work is along telecommunication industry and they will send it to relevant departments and relevant stakeholders and then again communication is critical with them because it helps you to maintain open and tra transparent communication with ncc and the frequency i will suggest that establish regular communication share schedule with your partners and also with the funding agency which is ncc in this case and then as i've said ncc they are very responsive when it comes to giving you feedback mobilization fee and so on and please documentation is important every stage take picture make short videos because you may need all those ones in order to get your 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 second third or fourth tranche in the work so in in conclusion i will always recommend ncc grant to my colleagues in the academia because it's transparent it's is and is very competitive and you can be rest assured that uh, each proposal each submission will be reviewed by nothing less than 15 people or experts in that same field and the expertise of those people cut across academia industry uh, government agencies and even the community the users so it's on this note i say it doesn't matter how many resources you have in your university it doesn't matter how many papers you have published if you don't know how to use them to assess ncc research grant and other grant whatever we are, we are you are having there might not be enough thank you for listening <music>